the inner, the outer only reflects the inner. And so on the outer level, for example, we have a civilization that is extraordinarily noisy. If somebody came from some past civilization, even 200 years back, 1,000 years back, and would arrive here in a city or even in a small town, they would say, what is going on? This deafening noise everywhere and these the machines everywhere that make noise. Have I arrived in the hell realm? <laughs> and if they, don't, if they don't have the noises that are produced by machines, they, they, they have to make noise just to, for the sake of noise. A lot of, there's some good music, but a lot of so-called music that you hear in restaurants, I don't know if it's the same here in North America, hard to find a restaurant without loud music. You just open the door and put your head in and you go out again. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of that is for the sake of making noise. It's called music. There are some exceptions, of course. Some music can have a divine function, too. In some rare cases, it still has. Music that comes out of the stillness. That when you listen to music that came out of the stillness, whoever created it or whoever is playing it or singing it, it comes out of that state of consciousness and whatever it, then it assumes a form, and yet the form has, f is fresh and new. It's come out of that, and the stillness still clings to it, has a fragrance. It still emanates that, even if it's sound. And that's the beauty of all art, true art. It reflects still that state of consciousness out of which it comes. And then you have a lot of pseudo art in this world where clever minds are trying to be even more clever and think, let's think of something new. What can we do here? Let's, oh, maybe we could do put that here or that could go there. That would look clever. And, and then, okay, oh no, let's do, and then you get, it's, they call it art, but it's not, it lacks something. It's totally trapped in form. There's only manipulating old forms. Nothing new has come in. And nothing that can lead you back to the formless, which is the original reason for all art, is, to, is the sacred. To be a portal, an access point for the sacred. So that when you see it or experience it, you experience yourself. You In it, you see yourself reflected, the formless reflected, shining through the form. That is why it's why it is true art. It's always there is more than what you see or hear. It's not, conf it's not just what you see or hear. There is more than that. And that shines through the form. And that is what can happen to you.